everyone. Welcome to today's session on how to create a hangman game in Python. Today in this session, we'll learn how to create a hangman game from scratch. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you're interested in online certification of data science in Python, please check out the link given in the description down below. Let's move on with our agenda for today. So we see what is the hangman game. Also, we do some hands-on creating of the hangman game in Python. And let's design the code for Python under Visual Studio Code. So let's dive right into it, guys. So firstly, we see what is the hangman game. So guys, hangman is a Python script of the classic game hangman. The word to guess is represented by rows of dashes. If the player guesses a letter which exists in the word, the script writes it in all correct position. The player has 10 turns max to guess the word. You can also customize the game by changing the variables. So it earlier used to be a paper and pencil game. Now there are coding aspects to that. Also the basic function of the hangman is to select secret word for the player to guess from the list of words. Let's move ahead. So next we see creation of hangman games in Python hands-on. So first we see that it's import module, which is import in Python, which is similar to include header file in C, C++. Python modules can get access to code from another module by importing the file function using import. This import statement is the most common way of invoking the import machinery. Next, we see creating a display window. So by creating a visual window, we define the outlet of hangman. For all the wrong guesses by the user, the hangman is revived. Next is define functions. So at last, we import all the functions which are required to run the hangman game. These functions play an essential role for deriving the words from the word list and computing that the guesses in the game, and so on, portraying the hangman. So guys, let's code under Visual Studio Plus now. So first, I'd like to save my file as hangman.py under py extension, and also with the main function, I'll have hangman visuals for the visual of hangman for the number of attempts by the user. It's all stored under life's visual deck. Now there are a set of word lists for which the random variables can choose between the words and also for the user input. So it's all under words. You can also download it from the internet. So let's code ahead with the hangman.py. So firstly, I'd like to import random. So random is a set of random library, so which gives choice for the user input for the word list to be selected out randomly. Next, I'd like to import word from the word.py. Word, import, words. From word, import words. Next, I'd like to call out from hangman visuals, which is the hangman actual visual for the number of lives visual import lives visual ticked. Now import the string for the word list. Import string. So after we have imported all these libraries, next we move to defining a function under def get valid word. So this is for defining the get valid word function. Under this, the argument we specify words. Now the colon. Now within this, we make sure that the indentation is correct. We define a variable called as word, which can store random choices by the user for the word list. So under this too, we write words for the word.py. It randomly chooses something from the list. Next, we go on to while loop for making a condition. So while hyphen, this is the syntax in which we go in word or quote space in word. So in case if there is any string called in the word, next word has to be from random selection of choices, random dot choice. And in the bracket, we specify words, correct? So now that we have it all correct, let's move ahead. Now we'd like to return the word under uppercase. So we specify the upper function to be it under uppercase. We specify it as word dot upper. Sorry, word dot upper. Now we move on to the next definition of function, which is hangman itself. So hangman. So hangman is a function under which we program for the letter that have been guessed. Word is the variable that we call. And under this, we specify the function get valid word. And in the argument, we specify words. Now we move on to another variable for word letters. So we have to set the word. For setting function, it returns the string from word list. Now we call upon the alphabet. Alphabet is a variable that returns the string from ASCII uppercase. So for that, we specify string. 
ASCII uppercase. So clear enough? Next we move ahead to used letters. It's another variable that stores the user input for the what user has guessed. Used letters. Now we just call the set function, that's it. Now that for the user input, after that we create the lives. For the number of lives that the user has for the attempts, we can also customize it for how many number of attempts that we want. Let's suppose it's seven. Okay. Now that it's designed, so after this we move on to getting user input. For that we code it as for the condition while len dot len stands for len and then word letters. We call upon the word letter variable and there is a condition for which it is greater than zero and also if lives is greater than zero. In that case, for the letters used. We use the join function. I'm sorry, let me correct with Y. Now it's correct. Word letter. Now we move ahead. Now we print it as the number of lives that are left and the letters that has already been used. So for that we print under quotes, we write you have lives, which is the number of lives left. So that number of lives are left and you have used for the letters used, you have to specify that again. You have used these letters. Now, after this, we call the letter. We give some space for the user letter, and then we call the join. Now, what it does is returns the string for the letters that has been used under the list join. So now, we call join. Now, under join, we write it as for used letters. Now that it is done, we want to know what the current word is. For that, we have to define word list. Word list is a variable which stores the condition letter if letter in used letters else hyphen under code for letter in word. So for that, we have to print the live visual deck. Live visual dict is nothing but the hangman itself. So lives visual dict. So now that this has been called, now let's print for the current word that has been set by the user. Print as per the user want to know what the current word is. Current word. So these will be the letters used. Current word, we give some space for the input. Now we connect it with join for returning the strings that has been done. We call join dot join. Now that's a function for word list. Clear enough? So guys, next we move on to. So guys, we make sure we separate this by comma. Otherwise, it won't make sense. Yeah, now that it's correct, let's move on. Now we move on to user letters for which guessing of letter is there for the user. User letter. User letter for which the input by the user has to be taken. So for that we use the input function, guess a letter. Now we give some space for the user to type it and that has to be under uppercase. So we specify upper function, upper, yes. Now we make a condition as if user letter in alphabet, which is the variable that has been called alphabet minus used letters that has already been used for that condition. So we write it as used letter dot add. So these return all the strings used by the user input user letter. So clear enough. After this, we move ahead to another condition which is under the first if as a nested one. So if if you use a letter in word letter hyphen there when we write it as remove for the user letter for the words that has already been used that has to be removed word letters dot remove remove is a function that removes the string user letter on the brackets we write user letter for the user input now we have to print it out print all right let's move on we correct the variable word letter I'm sorry, I have to correct this too. From hangman visual. Let's move ahead. 
So now we come out to the nested if and go for the else part, which is the either condition. So else lives is equal to lives minus one. So what it does is it takes away a life if the user input is wrong. So lives is equal to lives minus one. Okay. So now that the lives has been taken, so next is awareing the user that your letter is not the word. So for that, we create some space. Your letter is not the word. All right. So under this, we have to write it as your letter. We have to call the user letter. So for the actual user input that have been attempted, we have to specify that user letter. Yes, now the format is correct. User letter is not the word. Next, moving on to now we come out of this statement and make another statement called elif for the user letter in used letters. In used letters. Colon. Now that we have to print that the letter has already been used. So that's an alternation to that letter is not the word. So letter has been used. For that, we have to specify. We give some space in between by backslash n. You have already use the letter. So this is the second condition towards your letter is not the word. Guess another letter. Now that we move on to the else part, printing it out that your letter is not a valid letter. So you can just make it simple as some space that is not a valid letter. All right. Now we make some space for the further coding. So moving on to the last part now. So now we specify with indentation. So if it gets still here, then when the word letter is zero or the life is equal to zero. So for that, we make the if condition as if life equal to zero, then what will happen? Print the live visual deck for the user to understand for the attempts left. Sorry, print live visual deck. So now that is clear. And here in the argument, you have to specify the exact number of lives left. We call the lives variable and then we have to print it out. You died. Sorry, because there are zero lives left. You died. Sorry. And also it would be better to specify which word was it exactly which the user input was wrong. The word was so we have to get the correct word from the random choice. So it's the word. So now we make an alternate that the word has been guessed. So for that, we make it as else under this. We print it out that the word is guessed. So for that, let's make it clever. Yay. You guessed the word. Now coming out of the loop, we call the word for which the actual word. Now that it's done, all we have to do is initialize the hangman. So it is under if double underscore name equal to main, which is the main function. And the main function should be under code. So for that, we print the hangman out. Hangman. So now that we have it all done, we check for if there are any errors, which is one here. So we press colon and get it done. Let's check for any other error. So there is another error which was written as get valid words. So I've corrected it. So guys, now that we have our hangman code ready, let's run it over. So once I run this code, so here we can see that you have seven lives left and also you have used the letter in case if you have used it will appear here. Then the number of current words are total of six. So here we have to guess the word which consists of six letters. So starting from the first letter we have, let's put it as A. So guys, A is a letter in the word. So that has been used and also I have the seven lives left as well. So A is the letter used. Next go for G. So guys, G is not a part of it. So the hangman we can see is getting created. And also we have total of six lives left as of now. Next we move on to next letter. Let's say R. So guys, R is another letter. We are getting close to it. And also I have six lives left and the number of letters that has been used are R A G. Let's move ahead. So next we use T. So as we can see, T is not a part of the hangman. So now I have five lives left and also I can have these letter R A G T which has been used. Next we move on B. 
So rest B is another word which is used. So now we can see that the hangman is not further built. So I have five lives left as of now as such. So let's move on. N. So guys, N is not the word. And we can see that the hangman is getting revived. And also I have four lives left. Moving on. Let's say the blue. The blue is also not the word. I have three lives left as of now. And I'm nowhere close. Let's move ahead. So now we use X. Also, X is not the word. And also I have two lives left. And these are the letter used. Now we move on to Y. Y is one of the word. So I can see that all my input are, have been done except one. So I have to choose the last letter. So let's say I. I is not the letter. I have one life left and I have one blank left. So I can see that I'm very close. Just that I have to guess that one letter. So what we can do? Let's say C. So guys, I guess the word and it's correct. It's crabby and I have one. So guys, this is how we play the hangman game in Python. So I hope you like the video. You can also program it. And also, if you like the video, please click the like button. And to stay notified for our further updates, please click the bell icon. So thank you for watching the video, guys. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it. And you can comment any of your doubts and queries. And we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist. And subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!